Where's the best place to sit? There it is. Um, hey, what's up? So this is a video about all the things that I have done recently um, in my last holiday before my final year of computer engineering, all the things that I'm currently doing uh, at the moment in February, and all the things that I'm going to do in this my final year of computer engineering at Tux. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. With what I've been up to recently in the past few weeks is enjoying my holiday, enjoying, go enjoying going away with friends and family. Um, I recently went away with some mates to Stierfan, our good mate Stierfan's farm up in Zanin, and we had a great time there, um, doing tours around the farm and the city, tubing down a river, meeting Steve's friends up there, going to Stasi's, playing Settlers of Catan, playing pool volleyball, shooting, and just doing a whole lot of fun stuff, which you're going to see right now. Now that I'm back in Joburg, Pretoria and that, I'm busy with some VAC work. I'm working at a cyber security company with James. Um, I don't need to do any more uh, VAC work because I've already got my hours necessary for the degree this year. But in order to get some skills and some, <laughs> some cash dollar, we're working at a cyber security company, building a web app for them at the moment. We're going to work on some other different technologies and problems and programs for them. But right now we're building them a web app um, and it's going really well. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, just getting my LinkedIn and my CV looking a bit more full and with some more experience and that and actually you know learning some new things while working at a corporate company it's been really cool just unfortunately the commute all the way to Joburg from Pretoria is pretty shitty so I'm gonna go home this week and just commute from there a, a bit because it's just it's crazy to drive all the way from Joburg uh, to from Pretoria to Joburg and back every day but yeah doing back work at the moment and really enjoying that and really learning lots good morning blood it is um my watch has died it is 5.58 in the morning and I'm busy cooking up some eggs because I've uh, got to get to Santa this morning with James for back work. Things are going well over there. I'm um, putting a really cool view project at the moment and uh, my website development has gotten a lot better in the last few days. Things are going alright. I registered for the final year of my comp -inch degree yesterday, which is good. It was really shitty because you have to get special permission to do a third year course with your final year project and it was this long, really aggressive form that they made us fill out. And so, I filled that out and uh, that's looking good. Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, otherwise, just that work at the moment for the last month of the holiday. And then looking forward to my final year project. Um, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Good morning, vlog. James and I are on the road. James, uh, what is your uh, perspective on commuting jobs like our commute today? You can't do it. We can only do it because it's for one month, but uh, no, it's not nice. <laughs> I'm on board with that. Hey? We're driving to Santon every day from Pretoria and it can be 45 minutes or even like 35 minutes with no traffic or two hours <laughs> or two hours yesterday it took us an hour and a half to get home and today we've been driving for like half an hour so far but we are only in mid ramp and there is i don't know if you can see it but there's quite a lot of traffic over there so i'm not positive about our chances of getting there in an hour <laughs> yeah but it's all good how's the back work been so far very very eye-opening and yeah, good to be working on something cool, so it's been good. Good stuff. Enjoy your vlog, we'll catch up with you later. And then, finally, looking ahead, um, 
This is my final year of computer engineering, hopefully my final year of my degree. I had to fill in a special form the other day to do a third year module with final year project because I unfortunately failed that uh, digital communications EDC 310 SUP that I wrote in January. Um, yeah, the exam was not too difficult, but I just obviously didn't prepare well enough for it. And then the SUP was ridiculously difficult. And so I'm gonna have to repeat that module again. If you look over here, you can see all of the modules that I have to complete this year. It's not too bad. It's just two modules in first semester, one module at the third year one I have to repeat at the end of the year, and then my final year project. But that final year project is 64 credits. And so it's gonna take me the whole year. It's gonna be bloody difficult. I'm really scared of it but I'm really looking forward to it as well just working on a big project the whole year designing something all the way from theory into implementation into testing and then reporting on it a big system you know a big hardware and software project that I can call my own and I just think it's going to be a really cool challenge and so you're going to hear a lot about that this year and that's what I'm spending most of my time on this year and what I'm looking forward to the most this year but yeah besides that got to do uh, ESP and EHN in first semester and then EDC again at the end of the year we're actually going back to campus we got the this email uh, on Friday or was it Thursday um, telling us that basically uh, the EEC E faculty, which is my faculty, is going back fully in person. Uh, they didn't say for what though, because there's a hybrid approach, whether some lectures are going to be in person and some uh, pracs are going to be in person, or some lectures are still going to be online. We don't know yet, and it depends what happens with the COVID regulations. But for sure, um, exams and semester tests are going to be in person, so that's going to be difficult and it's going to be very interesting. Um, but yeah, just got to make the most of the year. I'm really going to try and make the most of living in Pretoria, uh, being here, seeing friends, you know, having a student life for the last year. Because from the end of this year and next year, I'm going to really start planning my career and my life, basically, future life. I know, I know you don't have to sort out your complete life uh, when you're 22, but, you know, definitely making an effort to make some big plans for my career and where I want to live and what I want to be doing every day at the end of this year. It's going to be quite stressful. And so yeah, I'm just going to try and enjoy my final year project and my final year of being a student. Being in fifth year already, I'm like three years older than the average university student. Uh, and, you know, going out in that uh, around Pretoria, you can really see that there's a lot of young kids around still. And I feel like an old Bali now, but it's all good. And I'm looking forward to the year uh, doing those last few modules, doing my final year project and just uh, finishing the degree strong and moving on with my life. So I'm really excited about that. And I hope you come along for the journey and to see what transpires this year because I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. So thanks for watching and I will uh, see you later. Cheers. Oh, that's on record. That is on record, Jen. Hello. What's up, everyone? We're at Chris and Jason's 23rd birthday party. Fans are old.